If you do sanding and shaping indoors, you're going to want to save this video. This is how I made a downdraft box to avoid this and start having work areas that look like this. Start by cutting out the rectangle out of an airtight container like this. I use Silhouette Design Studio to add my air holes. You can also use a piece of pegboard, but I wanted to use my Glowforge for this. I sand and shape very small pieces sometimes, so I wanted to keep that in mind. Next, you're going to cut the size rectangle out of the lid. You're going to want to use a hot metal for this. The polypropylene plastic will crack if you try just using an X-Acto knife with no heat, so really take your time for this part. Next, you're going to glue your rectangle with the air holes onto the lid. I used E6000 and a lot of hot glue to prevent any unintended suction loss. Then I used caulking for the top. Next, you're going to need to cut a hole inside your container for your vacuum attachment to fit into. I bought this 2-inch polypropylene elbow from the plumbing section in Lowe's. I like that it was in an elbow shape to keep my hose away from my work area, and it was a fraction of the cost of getting a vacuum attachment. Then I used hot glue again to attach it to my container and seal any air holes. Here I'm checking the suction after turning my vacuum on and it's working fantastic. This is what my hand and my workspace look like before without my draft box after two minutes of sanding and shaping. Here you can see all of the sawdust is going directly into the draft box and straight into the vacuum keeping my workspace nice and clean. And here's a difference of my hand and my workspace after using the draft box. Don't forget to save this video so you can make your own.